Okay, you go, 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 go. What are you doing? What are you doing? You just oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no! Down there! Welcome to the road race. Timmy B here at beautiful Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida. Eight teams competing in a fast-paced, action-packed, nine-hole challenge course. Testing the best of golfers. Kevin Kisner, Henrik Stinson, Annika Sorenstam, Sam Burns, Abraham Anser, John Rahm, Mark Leishman, Adam Hadwin, Maverick McNeely. Come on, come on, come on! Ah! They will race to clock the fastest time through all nine holes while trying to earn the lowest score on each challenge. Now that you're up to speed, let's see today's racers. I thought Carl was going to be standing up here with me, um, but like, you know, we are team alliteration now, so I'm just trying to really focus on that and, you know, the fact that Carl didn't show up, just so kind of leave that We were mess. both emotional. Let's just try and try and win, and then we can we can cry afterwards. How about that? Team alliteration. Rogue ST challenge starts in three, two. Is this the slowest car? We have? I know. I think they're <laughs> they're they're rigging it. All right, folks. This is it. The final race. I'm Tim Brando, and it has been a pleasure watching and calling this journey with all of you. But it's not quite over yet. Henrik Stenson and Hallie Ledbetter have a real shot at getting to the top of the leaderboard. And to do that, they need to go low and move fast to beat Hadwin and Kelly, which won't be easy. Their first test of the day is the Stinger Challenge. Each player gets to hit two balls. Max points can be earned by keeping the ball below 10 feet, while still making sure it goes at least 150 yards. Remember, all points earned in challenges will take time off the clock to determine who wins the road race. You're starting. You want me to start? Yeah. OK. OK. OK, here I go. Here I go. Don't think. Don't think. Just go. Oh, that was pretty good. How high? Nice. OK, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Another one. You need to get another one. Down. I, what? You were not under oh. 10. All right, that was under 10. Let's okay. go. Long drive hole. Long drive, long drive, long drive. OK. Right through right where we came from. Well, they almost lost out on some points there. Luckily, their ambassador was on top of it and kept them on track. Nice start for Team Henrik and Halley. Next up is the long drive challenge. And this is one of the hardest to get in the negative to shave time off the score. In order to get just minus five points, one has to hit it over 325 yards. Anything less than that is a zero or positive points. Each player's best ball counts, so their combined score will determine the final result. Whoa! <laughs> okay, you go, 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 go. Oh yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was on time. Long drive. Both balls. That way, that way, that way, huh? that, oh, way. Right. that way, that way, that way. I need a tee. Yeah, tee's on the ground here. Wait for the top pair to reset. Give us a thumbs up. Nice. Oh, 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 I got one. So the next drive is all the way down the fairway, and then we cross the street to the park three. Oh, I need another ball. You throw me a ball. Uh. Thank you. Ah! It's chaos. Ah! <laughs> Oh no, it's in the trees! It's oh okay! God. Oh god. It will not be the long drive. That's okay! Okay. Oh. Par three. Like I said, it's tough to get minus points to lower your score on the long drive challenge. Unfortunately, their combined score is the highest we've seen in the competition on hole two. Hole three is next up, an alternate shot par three measuring 142 yards. Strategy is key here in deciding who hits which shot. Let's see how team alliteration handles this one. 142. Jeff, I need a ride! You, you need a club. Have your putter. I don't have a putter! <laughs> what are you gonna putt with? I thought you were giving me a putter! Hallie has seemed to have misplaced her putter as she runs toward the green to save time. Meanwhile, Stinson is trying to keep his composure and hit it close. It's looking like a decent shot so far. Oh! The ball lands just below the slope and rolls back towards the front of the green for a long putt. I didn't even see. Where is it? Oh, it's down there. That's no good. Oh, no! 
Down there! Hallie is approaching the ball without a putter. Things have gotten out of control. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. Oh my goodness, she picked up the ball. Hallie, I'm not sure that's how it's supposed to work. What are you doing? One second, I'm checking with an official now. And, uh, oh yeah, they are counting it. What is this? <laughs> in a shocking turn of events, this is the first team to get a birdie on hole three and secure minus 10 points. If they end up winning, we might have to have a replay review of this. All right, folks, things have gotten a little loose here on the final race, but at least they're having fun. Hole four is up next, the backspin challenge. The team must land the ball past the line and spin it back as far as possible. Only one ball per team counts, so this is an opportunity to pick up some time. Bonus points are awarded for holding the shot. Oh, a little more. It's 100 to the orange, like in line with that. Oh, come on, come back. Does it go. spin? Oh, that's uh, kind of No, I don't no? think that spins, no. Oh, okay. Oh, there she comes, there she comes. You got it, we're good? Oh, that was really close. From far away, it looked like the ball was past the line. But from our close-up view, we can see they didn't quite get over the line. We might have to get Henrik and Hallie in for an eye exam. Unfortunately, Hallie never got a chance to help the team. Holy <laughs> Yep, Henrik definitely needs to get into the eye doctor. He just ran over the rogue bot T marker. Okay. Yeah. They are taking what an interesting doing? route here to get to hole five. Oh, he did it again. <laughs> I'm beginning to think this is on purpose. The Swede is known to have a temper and it seems to be coming out right now. Maybe they really do need Carl to help get them back on track here. Hole five is next, the Odyssey putting challenge. There are four locations to putt from, each worth different points. The key here is to keep moving fast and avoid a three putt. Hopefully they can pull off a miracle here. They're going to need one. It's gotta be, you gotta get a two putt or else it's plus points. I have no idea. Yeah, like at his feet. Okay, I'm gonna try. Well, that's pretty good. Go in, go! Should I even? Yeah, you yes. still, because one per player counts. OK. <laughs> What's happening to your grip? It's on crooked. <laughs> <laughs> Sit. Hallie putting with Enric's putter isn't proving a good strategy. <laughs> what is happening with this grip? What's, it's like not what's on. happening to your grip? It's supposed to be like that. Come on, putt. Are you sure? All right. It's OK, Hallie. Remember, no one ever called a right-hander crafty. Oh, OK. OK. I didn't see nothing. Nice. OK. All right. They got some points on the board and shaved some time off the clock. Next up, the high drive challenge. One player earns points by hang time of the drive, while the other player has to stack balls on a tee. Each ball stacked while the tee shot is in the air shaves a second off the team's time. Go. Oh no, that was really bad. Jeez. How did that go so low? Has it landed? Yeah. Stop. <laughs> okay. Higher, 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 higher. No! Okay. <laughs> okay, you're here. How many did you get? <laughs> okay. No, that's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I lost that one. Someone tell me when it's on the ground. It's down. All right. <laughs> Last one that we're going to the middle. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I got it. I got it. It's down. Not enough. <laughs> four, four and four. four. Eight. They had eight. <laughs> Oh boy, hole six proved to be a difficult one for this team. These challenges are harder than they look, folks. The next challenge is a two-parter. Part one is the OGO Woody Top Challenge. Each player will chip a ball into the oversized Woody Top. Whichever opening their ball goes into will determine which club they use for part two of the challenge, which is a closest to the hole shot from 135 yards. Points can be earned by stopping the ball on the green, and bonus points are earned by getting close to the flag. It's time for Team Alliteration to step it up. Let's catch them back at the Woody Top Challenge. 
Oh, lovely. Oh. Oh, that's good. You can start, Merrick. Oh, Nom, 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 nom. Okay, nine iron. For the closest to the pin part of this challenge, they did quite well. A score of zero is respectable, as this is one of the harder challenges to get a leg up on the competition. On to hole eight. <laughs> oh. Ooh, and down goes another robot tee marker. That makes three on the day. Just ahead, you can hear the humming vibrations of the unmanned aerial vehicles. The drone challenge awaits. Each team has 30 seconds to knock a moving drone out of the sky. If they do, they're awarded minus five points for each drone they hit, which helps lower their total time. Oh, that was, oh, that was really. Ah, too low. That was really, so was, oh, no, you're moving as well, aren't you? Oh. Way too low. Whoa. No, way too low. Oh. Oh, that was oh. almost close. Oh my god. <laughs> Team alliteration? More like Team Obliteration. Henrik must be hangry because he's on an absolute tear right now. Well, there isn't much to break on the next hole. These straightest drives. Points are earned by being as close as possible to the triple track ropes in the fairway. They'll really need to rack up some points here to shave time off the clock. Ooh, very nice. OK, one more. Go for it. Ooh. Nah. Nah. All right, tell me when we're good. Ooh. Nope, nope. Oh, a little too much. Too much. Oh, okay. That's All right, jump okay. in, jump in. Oh, okay. And the final team to race against the clock is headed to the finish line. Team Obliteration showed guts and glory and left it all out there on the course today. Let's check in with the team and see how they feel about their race. Gonna hit the tree. Ah! You got Chambers Bay, you got Oakmont, you got all of those tough use open venues, and this this was uh, this was above and beyond, really. Yeah, I think you got a little frustrated with me, but it's okay. Um, At least I took better care of you than the drone, though, didn't I? <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah, but no, I want to be that drone. Um, but no, I you know overall, I think I think we had pretty good time. Not super happy with my performance, but. You know, I left it all out there. It wasn't for lack of effort. I hope no one, uh, you know, accidentally drove over any of the signs or anything, horrible. but we're all going to go one day, so. Well, that's all, folks. Team Obliteration posted 15.25 for time. They got plus 27 points, which means 27 seconds added for a final time of 15.52. One could argue, though, that they were first in laughs and destruction. All eight races are in the books. Congrats to Adam Hadwin and Josh Kelly as they are the winners of the Callaway Road Race with a final time of 1429. I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed calling some of these extraordinary moments. What a joy it's been. This is Tim Brando signing off for the final time here in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida. We hope you enjoyed the Road Race. Stay tuned for bonus content in the weeks ahead. More points if we do it from here? Nope. Ah, oh, let's, let's go. go. It's like, got it. I gotta keep going. There's cameras. But I'm dying! 54, 15! What are you talking about, dude? 12, 14, none of y'all can count.